In today's video, we're going to talk about what is a Jenkins agent. Are you new here? If you are, welcome. And if you are new here, you don't know who I am. My name is Darren Pope, and I'm a developer advocate for CloudBees. You may be new to this whole world of Jenkins, and you've heard some of the phrases, maybe a Jenkins controller and a Jenkins agent. Now, what is the purpose of a Jenkins agent? Typically, an agent is either a machine, whether that's a virtualized machine, or maybe even bare metal, or maybe your favorite Raspberry Pi. Or it could even be just a container that connects to the Jenkins controller and executes tasks as directed by the controller. The purpose of the Jenkins controller is to administrate the connections and potentially even the tooling for those agents. Sometimes, as we said before, agents can be bare metal or virtualized. Maybe it could even be cloud. Something like EC2 or maybe even Azure those types of instances could be dynamically provisioned and connected to the Jenkins controller. Basically, any type of machine that can run Java can be an agent for a Jenkins controller. You may be asking yourself, why do I need an agent? I've got my Jenkins controller. I can run jobs directly on the controller. As a good practice, from both a security perspective and potentially a performance perspective, it is much better to use an agent to do all of your work and not do any kind of builds directly on your controller. So whether you're actually using Jenkins to build an application just for your department or for your full company, always use agents when building your jobs. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBeesDevs. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there is new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.